Good morning. It is Friday morning. It is a quarter after six. I got here at five, no, at 10 to six. I recorded a video for you all, but I didn't like it. Didn't like it. So <laughs> here I am on the back hall, the eval section, and um, just to talk. But I do have a couple things I want to talk about because you guys had suggestions and was asking questions. So, first things first. Um, when you start your jobs, and congratulations to those who are starting out new in the field and, um, you know, having fun and enjoying it and the nerves are rattling them. All that is really, really good because it's singing, I'm ready for this. Yes. Um, you know, don't fret. You know, no fret Friday. That's what today is. Just what I, you know, when I started these videos, I would always say, just relax, just relax, just relax. And now that I have my topics coming up with the um, Science of Mind Law of Attraction, you guys really want to hone in on those because they are going to teach you how to relax, how not to compare yourself with others. Someone asked me that as well. And that can be hard too, especially when you're first starting out and people are just flying all over the place. The chick over there, she just stuck five people and I'm only sticking on my second person. You know, who cares? I just started. You got to remember, I just got here. Number one, I don't know what's in my eye. Number one, you got to get familiar. You've got to get familiar. You guys can't go in and be so hard on yourselves because there is a time frame that you have to get yourself together. And it's not the first week. The first week, the first two weeks, that's your time to watch and observe your work and people you're working with. And, you know, things will come. But you have, you must do that. You must do those two things. You just can't go in and expect to be the bomb because... You don't know if you're going to be the bomb. <laughs> you know what I mean? That comes later. You don't know if you're going to be able to even work in the area that you're working in. That that could also happen. So you got to look at, you, you want to stay positive, but you still got to be, you know, realistic, you know. And if you know that you're not the best sticker and you're going into um, cancer research or, uh, you know, an area where patients are difficult, then you already know you're going to have challenges, but it's not to say you're not going to overcome those challenges. So, oh, I'm sounding like one of my other topics. <laughs> but yeah, this is, you know, today I just want to remind you guys to relax, take deep breaths, and just, 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 just relax. I don't know what else to say more than that, because that is, that is key. That is, that is key. You have to go in and just chill and just watch and observe and learn because you will shadow someone in the beginning because you don't know what to do when you first get there. So you will get the opportunity to shadow someone. So do that and relax. Um, that was the first thing I wanted to touch base on. I think I touched base on both of them. Somebody was like, okay, how do we work and not compare ourselves to others? And, um, and then the other one was a difficult stake. Someone was saying, mentioned the area that they're going into. And those patients can be a little difficult, but, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You want to treat every patient the same. You want to look at the patient that's sitting in your chair, neutral, just a neutral, neutral pain. Not a hard stick, not a, ooh, it's got good veins, it's going to be an easy stick. No, everybody that sits in my chair, I don't know what to expect until I touch them. I mean, I don't go out in the waiting room and look and be like, oh, I'm going to call him because he looked like he has good things. I'm going to call. No. You get who you get and you just work with it. But the number one thing is to relax, take deep breaths, and know that you know that you know. I used to say that a lot too. And the other thing, pick your poison. Pick your poison. Some areas like cancer research, they will only have butterflies or they will have them more than your straight needles. But pick your own poison. Don't let anyone tell you you have to use this or you have to use that. Now, when you first get to these places, please, by all means, do what they're doing. If they're using butterflies and you know you can get it with a straight vein, uh-uh. You got two weeks to shadow this person. Do what that person says do. If they're using straight needles, use straights. If they're using butterflies, use butterflies. Go with the flow, okay? If they're using straights and you feel more comfortable with the butterflies, then just say that and use the butterflies. But pick your own poison. That is so, 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 so important. Don't let other people tell you how to stick. If it doesn't feel good to you, don't do it. You guys heard that before, right? Same thing applies with these new jobs. 
finishing these externships, go internships, whatever it is you're doing, new wherever. Relax, take deep breaths, and pick your own poison. I think this this little topic was better than what I recorded earlier. You guys would have been so bored. Anyway, thanks to all my new subscribers. Thumbs up the video. Fridays are not usually like this, but this was really good. Yeah, I liked it. Um, yeah. Thumbs up, share, like, thank you, comment, and um, if I don't be back this afternoon, I will definitely be back tomorrow. It's the weekend, and I try to show up and show out on the weekends lately, especially on Sundays with the topic. If you guys want me to cover anything with the Law of Attraction Science of Mind um, section of the channel, please let me know, because it's going to be a regular on Sundays and Thursdays. No, Sundays and Fridays. I think I have something for tonight just to kind of get you through the weekend and then Sunday to get you ready for your week. So, yeah. Let me know what you think and uh, I'll see you guys later. Bye.